Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. If you love me, keep my commands. Do to others as you would have them do to you. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life, and have it to the full. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me you can do nothing. All you need to say is simply yes or no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For whoever does the will of my Father, in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? And whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. And he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. 
And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep, and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hills and go to look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he is happier about that one sheep than about the ninety-nine that did not wander off. In the same way your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should perish. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves, and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? Jesus answered them, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds, and glorify your Father in heaven. You have heard that it was said, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you, for this sums up the Law and the Prophets. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. All the Law and the Prophets Hang on these two commandments. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. 
With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit.